Advanced Wireless Settings tab. This tab allows us to tweak the wireless settings. We need to be careful while making changes because setting incorrect parameters can reduce performance of wireless devices. AP isolation is used to isolate wireless devices and prevent them from communicating with each other over the wireless connection. This can be useful in public settings such as a coffee shop. We are going to leave this disabled because we want our wireless devices to share files with each other. Frame Burst enhances the ability of the wireless client, such as laptops, to upload data faster. The recommended setting is to have this enabled. We have two types of authentication, open system and pre-shared key. Pre-shared key authenticates the client with a four-step process, while the open system is a two-step process. This feature is used when the security protocol for the wireless connection is set to WEP. The default setting is auto, and it will select a method based on how the client is configured. You can select pre-shared key if all clients use this method of authentication. Basic rate is used by the AP to notify clients which data rates it can transmit at. The default setting is default. All means it can transmit at all wireless rates. The recommendation is to leave this as default unless you have a specific need to set the transmission at a specific rate. Transmission rate is used for B and G devices. N transmission rate is used for B, G, and N devices. This setting is used to tell the router which rate it needs to communicate with wireless devices. The default is auto, which allows the router to negotiate the transmission speed based on signal strength. If you want wireless clients to communicate at a specific rate, then you can select the desired rate from the drop-down menu. Changing the end transmission rate to other than auto will disable B and G clients and the router can only communicate with wireless end devices. We are going to leave this at auto. CTS or clear to send protection mode is used when wireless N and wireless G devices are experiencing communication problems in environments that have heavy 802.11b traffic. CTS protection mode is used by the router automatically to allow N and G devices to communicate more effectively. We are going to leave this at auto. Beacons are used by the router to advertise its availability to wireless devices. Beacon interval is the time between these advertisements. The default is set to 100 milliseconds, which is equal to 10 advertisements a second. The recommendation is to leave this to the default value and should only be changed if you have a specific need for increasing or decreasing the interval. DTIM or Delivery Traffic Indication Message is an interval or a countdown field used to inform wireless devices that the router has broadcast or multicast traffic for sending. If multicast or broadcast traffic needs to be transmitted by the router, a DTIM beacon is sent to notify devices of this traffic. When a wireless device hears this beacon, it gets prepared for receiving the multicast or broadcast traffic. The default value is 1, which means the router will deliver multicast traffic after every one beacon interval. Fragmentation threshold is the largest wireless packet that can be transmitted before having to segment the packet into two or more sections. The default value is 2,346 bytes. Setting the threshold to a low value may result in poor wireless performance. If high packet error rates are seen, it might be beneficial to increase the threshold slightly. RTS, or Ready to Send Threshold, is used to determine if the RTS CTS mechanism needs to be enabled. RTS works in conjunction with CTS mechanism to stop multiple wireless devices from transmitting data at the same time. If the packet is greater than the threshold, in this case, 
2347 bytes, then RTS or CTS mechanism is enabled. If it is less than the threshold, then the packet is transmitted immediately. If inconsistent data flow is noticed, a small reduction in this value may improve performance. This completes the Advanced Wireless Setting tab and Wireless Page.